Welcome to my channel viewers please endeavor to like, share and subscribe so you will be the first to view brand new informations. A new record from the US Census Bureau located that 14 states had been drastically miscounted in the 2020 census, along with 60 of four proportion factors. A Morthy Trump administration spent an amazing quantity of time and effort messing with the census over four years. Its obvious aim. A desire to eliminate undocumented immigrants from population counts, thereby permitting Republicans to draw extra beneficial maps in redistricting and achieve extra floor in the House. The effort subsequently failed. And it now looks feasible that these efforts may have performed a function in costing red state seats. A new record from the U.S. Census Bureau discovered that 14 states have been substantially miscounted in the 2020 census, which includes six through four proportion factors or more. At the excessive end, Hawaii's population was overcounted through an estimated 6.8 proportion points, whilst Arkansas's was undercounted through 5 points. A style you may note if you peruse the information is that most of the states with vast overcounts had been blue states like Hawaii, e.g., Delaware, Rhode Island, New York, and Massachusetts, whilst most with undercounts had been red, southern states like Arkansas, e.g., Tennessee, Florida, Mississippi, and Texas. What that means? When it comes to the post-census awarding of seats a method regarded as apportionment these red states may have been at a deficit due to the fact they weren't given credit score for their full populations. Blue states, on the other hand, may have been given greater seats because the Census Bureau concept they contained extra humans than they absolutely did. Exactly how the new statistics may have modified matters isn't completely clear. It's hard to gauge that with any certainty, given the margins of error concerned in the new survey, the interaction between states' populations and the apportionment calculations, and the reality that the new information are constrained in some key ways, as the post's Tara Barampa writes. But it looks fairly evident that wrong numbers possibly allowed two blue-leaning states with overcounts Minnesota and Rhode Island to hold seats they shouldn't have, given that they simply barely cleared the bar for maintaining these seats. Minnesota saved its seat through a scan 26 people, and each state's had been predicted to lose seats earlier than the Bureau introduced otherwise. On the flip side, the undercounts in Florida and Texas might nicely have cost these two red-leaning state seats that they were on the cusp of adding. Texas did attain two different seats, however its 1.9% undercount was sufficient to deprive it of a half a million human beings in apportionment. In pre-census population projections, each state's had been on tune to achieve an extra seat. Some estimates Thursday recommended the miscounts may additionally have moved any other seat from a red nation to a blue state. We've checked in with some authoritative professionals on the challenge and will replace with their assessments. So how does this trace to the Trump administration? You may recall hearing, in the heat of the 2020 election, that it determined to reduce the census count quick by using a month. Again, the aim was especially evident. A desire to get the statistics early adequate to use for apportionment earlier than the administration made trade, and finally did change hands. The statistics were to be delivered to Trump through December 31, three weeks earlier than he would subsequently leave office.